How's it going? Today we're at SNS5 Smash and Splash in Wisconsin Dells, and it is getting pretty crazy here. It's the last day the tournaments are going on. We have a bunch of our gaming PCs set up in a room right now that everyone's been playing on the entire weekend, but everyone today is in this room for the tournament. So we're going to go around, talk to some individual players, and either learn a little bit about some of their strategies, about what it takes for them to become like so at such a, such a high level at the sport they're in, and just kind of see how it compares to other games and stuff along those lines. So it should be pretty interesting. I myself don't know too much about um, Smash Bros. I've played it a little bit, but I'm not an expert. So I'm sure that they'll have some information that's going to just completely like let me learn things I don't know before. I mean, how long have you guys been like into all this? Like, is this something you had from like when oh, you were God. young? We or? started playing like at the same time. Competitively, we started playing uh, maybe about 2015. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's it's so different than all the other esports out there because it's like a 15 year old game, right? Yeah. We've been out here for three times, five times longer than most esports scenes out there. You know, and we still have potential to grow. We still have like events. Um, and we still have really great storylines um, happening every day, honestly, yeah. um, that rivals like the games like League of Legends and Counter Strike and whatnot these days. Um, what like do you know anything about like what literally goes into like training to be that good? Uh, I don't know how much you know about that. A lot of hours of grinding. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of grinding, yeah. dude. Uh, I so think like, it's. I think it's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of hours of grinding, but it's a lot of like meaningful mental like focus. Studying, playing countless hours, a lot of traveling. It's an investment in yourself, right? You're not going to be making money from the start, so you have to learn to lose with grace, and take it as a learning experience, and be willing to you know invest all that time and money and traveling into yourself and your career for it to end up paying off in the long run. It's a mix between they, they've they put a lot of time into this game. Like, it's no joke that if you want to be good at this game, you have to put a lot of hours. And it's like not the conventional means, because a lot of games, like esports games out there, you can kind of grind. Uh, there's a lot of like services out there that help you like level up your game. For Melee, it's a lot of just like by yourself in your room, like lights off, TV on, 3 a.m. just like I gotta mess like I gotta do this like frame perfect input for the a thousandth, a thousandth time tonight or else I'm not going to sleep. Really? It's like that kind of like mindset and attitude that really drives these guys um, to, to the this next kind level. of level. Yeah. yeah say so. And I mean when you're playing then is, or is it like them by themselves playing versus like a bot like a really advanced bot? Uh, so or? there's I mean that's how it was back in the day you know I can't say for sure because yeah. I wasn't really playing back then. That's but. So for my understanding, yes, but then, uh, you know, um, the Melee community has developed more tools that allow them to um, practice more things. Well, they're making, like, bots, well, training uh, pro training mode, like, kind of things that you could use. Uh, I don't know where to get it, Fair unfortunately. Enough. But I usually play Wi-Fi, just with my friends. Oh, okay. And if I'm not playing Wi-Fi, then I do have people that I can play offline as well. Okay, and then they're, they're intense enough to to actually push you to the limits of trying. Definitely, yes. Okay. That's like the whole thing, right? Is if you if you practice any skill yeah. for like hours, you'll get like pretty good at it, right? Yeah. Like even if you're not talented, then there's talented people. Okay. And then there's like people who do stuff for 15 years. And then there's the people who like are super grinders where they work <laughs> for hours every day, yeah. you know, like super focused. Now put all of that together so like playing for 15 years, super talented and a super hard worker, and that's how you get it. And that's that's, it. that's yeah. how you get godhood, which is like yeah. these people the, who the consistently, five, like yeah. every tournament, every, they're winning. I think mindset was pretty important because if you have a really bad mindset, then it literally stunts your growth as a player. And uh, there have been times where my mindset has been bad, you know, slumps in my career and things of that sort. But the one thing I never did was give up. And I think that says a lot about a player's character. And a lot about someone that wants to persevere even through like the hard times because uh, I think even though you always want to have the good times, it's important to have the bad times as well to teach yourself how to overcome different things. Because it really came down to, at the end to like oh, yeah. one hit. Mm -hmm. Like one hit yeah. was what did it at the end and that last was what... Hit, last stock. Jeez, dude. That's crazy. I mean, what makes you like determine if you like someone or not? I don't know how hard... That might be kind of a difficult question to answer. I think it's like, definitely... It's like 50-50 for me, like personality. And skill. Like Mango just has like that, that you know, 
draw to him, but also just like creativity okay. and skill. Like play style, right? Like, yeah. yeah. You can see it. You, you can, can see it. Yeah, how, when they play, everyone's like got a, their own unique like play style. Oh, that's really? So, so, so okay, so that's what's sweet is like the play. Like a lot of games, when it comes down to it, it's like the, what you do is always the same. Like it's like it's like that's the okay. They, it's been determined that that's like the skill you need to do to win. Like it be, play like that, and that's how you like all the professionals play. But so this one's like different, where it's like you can have your own completely that, different skill. That's the thing about about Smash that makes it special is the like one one Falco would do a move. Another Falco will watch and say that was sick, and then go back to doing his own thing, and they both work just yeah. as well. Uh, which one's your favorite, Melee Ultimate? Um, I mean, I love Melee. I'm better at Ultimate just because Melee's been around for so long. There's so many people who are just at a higher level than me, but you know, I, I love I love all the Smash games, okay. except I'm really I'm really bad at most of them. That's okay. I mean, that's well, half, know, half the fun is just literally really playing. Have fun, you know. Melee yeah. forever, dude. dude we're gonna yeah. be we're gonna be here another 20 years. Awesome, dude. dude. Awesome. Have fun, man. Take it easy. Um, well, we mostly play PM, so okay. that was in the other room okay. over there. And yeah. but we, of course, every, we keep up with melee and stuff. Yeah. It's like the big, it's the big event. Is melee the, the biggest thing. one? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. well, the biggest tournament here is ultimate. I would say ultimate, kinda, right? I would say the one with the most history, though, is definitely yeah. melee. Yeah. How long? I mean, how long has it been around for? Uh, PM or ultimate? Um, uh, uh, melee. Yeah. Or melee. Years. I, I love being able to watch games that yeah. I love and seeing them played at a high level, as opposed to just like on my phone looking at Twitch, just, yeah. which is always fun just to like root for the people who I like to see. But actually seeing them play, it's such such a great experience. So that was cool to see the way everyone reacted to everything, how into it absolutely everyone is. Like there's, it's so much more than just a game to all these people that are watching, which is really, really cool. The esports community is just growing so much and it's awesome to see no matter what game that is. So on that note, we are packing up because we're going to be getting out of here soon. So I will catch you guys next time. We'll be back in the office and constantly uploading content. Till then.